What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We have our hands on with the Honor 10, not to be confused with the Honor View 10. This is the newer generation. This was just brought in from the UK, from Clove. It came with these free pair of headphones, as you can see here in the pictures. They are pretty neat, actually. I'm not going to go too in-depth on these, just because this is not a headphone video. It is for the phone itself, but these are made by Honor. Uh, they are wireless. And they are pretty neat. They have gotten great reviews in the past from what I was looking at. But maybe we'll dive into those in another video. For now, though, let's just talk about the Honor 10. This is the phantom blue color that I personally think is uh, one of the best looking colors. Maybe the phantom green as well. You get a little extra hue color of green in there, aside from the purple and the blues. But you can see it has 4 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, which is phenomenal for a mid-range device. It's just something you don't see really that often. This phone has a lot of top-of-the-line specs with, like I said, a middle price point, about 450 bucks. It's a lot less expensive than some of the other flagships nowadays. Let's go ahead and pop this baby open, do a quick unboxing so you can kind of see what you get. I really hope the camera does this body justice because it has such a unique look to it. Uh, I, I want you guys to be able to see this first hand. If y'all aren't familiar with this, it does come in like three or four colors, I believe. Black, gray, green, and blue, all with some sort of special namings to it and all that. Like I said, this is the Phantom Blue. The Honor 10 does have a dual megapixel, excuse me, a dual camera on the back, 24 and 16 megapixel. It has an ultrasonic under the glass fingerprint sensor and a 5.84 inch display with that super long 19 to 9 aspect ratio. I can't wait to show you guys this. Let's see what else is in the box. We'll get right back to that. You're going to have your SIM ejector tool along with your literature and a case right inside here. I believe it's just like a soft silicone case. Let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Put the literature aside. And sure enough, yep, it's just a nice little flexible silicon case. Anytime a phone manufacturer includes that, no matter how flimsy it is, that's awesome that you can pop your phone right in and take it with you. And you don't have to worry about dropping it. You have some sort of protection. You do have your quick charge right here. It is obviously branded Huawei. It is the larger company. Honor is its sub-brand. As you can see, I have the European charger along with the regular supercharger for the U.S. Uh, I have sitting around for my Mate 10 Pro that I was using. They're both exactly the same, just obviously region specific. You do have a USB type C port in the box as well. And that is really all that comes in this packaging. No need to focus any more on these accessories. We can go ahead and jump right back into the phone itself. Let's grab this baby. And like I was saying earlier, it does have some unique properties. This color variant right here is personally my favorite. Let's pull these stickers off. And I hope this camera does catch it. There you go, guys. What do you think? Tell me down below. Is this one of the coolest color variants of a device you've seen? Obviously, the P20 Pro has that twilight color. I feel this is pretty comparable to it. They kept that style. As you can see up in the front of the device, it does have that notch. You have your power button that is, unfortunately is not textured and your volume rocker on the right side. SIM card tray on the left. USB port type C on the bottom a down firing speaker and an IR blaster up top actually one of the coolest most underrated features I think that never got mainstream like it should have we will go ahead and get this device all set up um, I'm curious to see how the notch interacts on Android I've not used one yet I have an iPhone 10 and I am not personally a fan however it didn't bother me at all um, this ultrasonic fingerprint sensor on the bottom too should be interesting it is under the glass but it is not under the, the display it is flush aside from the pre-installed screen protector you can't even feel it um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this phone a run through I will post another video as soon as we get everything up and going let me know what you guys think down below is this hot or not are you gonna be picking one up leave a comment down below guys thumbs up this video and make sure